Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over two lesser known NPCs that are on this new island that just came out in update 20. So once you come in this entrance, the first one's going to be right over here to the left. Once you see this little staircase, just go down it and then the NPC is right down here. So this is the shark hunter. Basically, he can help you craft items that are going to help you while you're out at sea. So the tooth necklace is the first one. I already have this one. It costs one mutant tooth and five shark teeth. That's how you get the shark tooth necklace and it has many buffs to it. This is a rare accessory and it says this necklace is traditionally made from the teeth of sharks, real and genuine. And this thing is actually pretty strong. It gives you 50% faster run speed, 10% dash distance, and 25% more damage on sea events, which is actually going to be very handy in this new update. Next up, the Shark Hunter creates the Terror Draw, which is a much stronger version of the Shark Tooth Necklace. I don't have this, I just need some more Fool's Gold, but it's pretty easy to get. The Mutant Eyes you get from the big shark boss, and then these you also get from that. And then the Shark Teeth you get from the sharks that just follow you while you're sailing along. And then we have the Fool's Gold, which comes from the ghost ships that come out. Alright, so once you're done crafting these first two items, the third item will be unlocked, and you can craft a Monster Magnet. So the Monster Magnet is a mythical material. It costs 2 Terror Eyes, 8 Electric Wings, 20 Fool's Gold, and 10 Shark Teeth. You can use it to spawn the Anchor Terror Shark, and it's going to drop the Shark Anchor to the last person who gets a hit. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to get every single material real quick. If you're going solo, I recommend using the Miracle and a Magma Fruit. Alright, let's just sail on out, and then we should be good. Alright, so you're going to curve around this island, and then just go straight out to sea, and then you should be good. Also, if you guys want a tutorial on all the sea events, go to my last video. I talk about how this compass works and how all the events work. Oh, okay, we just got a pirate ship raid, which is not what we're looking for. This doesn't give any new material, so we're just gonna go on. Oh, okay, we just got fishman crew members and also the ghost ship. They're gonna give us some materials we could use. Let's just kill these fishmen real quick since they dropped nothing. All right, there we go, now let's kill this. This is going to give us fool's gold, which is going to help us craft some of those items we were looking at earlier. Oh, there's also sharks there, and they're about to destroy my boat, so I better kill them. There we go, we just got two shark teeth, which is perfect. And there we go, we just got three fools cold too. Now let's just go on ahead and keep on sailing and let's see if we find anything else. Okay, we just got piranhas, which give electric wings. There we go, we just got them all and we didn't get a single electric wing, but it's fine. And there we go, we just got a sea beast. As you can see, the events are crazy now. Also, make sure to be careful because these guys are really strong. I recommend having fishman, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Okay, there we go, we just killed them. Let's get back to our boat and let's keep on sailing. Okay, there's another ship raid. Let's just go on past it. There is also a terror shark raid boss that can spawn randomly, and that's going to give you your mutant teeth and your mutant eyes. Okay, we just got some more piranhas. Let's kill them real quick. Oh, there's a ship raid about to take out our boat. We got to go. Let's go. Oh, see, there we go. We just got the terror shark raid boss. Let's kill this thing. I recommend switching to Buddha because you'll take less damage, and you can left click this guy. This guy is pretty easy to kill, so we should be able to solo him. Hey, okay, this guy's getting low. Let's just not die now. I just died. No, it was on 15k HP. All right, that sucks. We didn't get any of the new materials, but it's fine. I recommend going with other players so that doesn't happen, but it's fine. We almost got him. So for the next part of the video, we're going to go on to the Beast Hunter, which is over here on the right side. That's the entrance right there, and we're going down these stairs. So here's the Beast Hunter. He's less related to the sharks and more related to the Leviathan. You can get the Leviathan Crown, the Leviathan Shield, or the Beast Hunter. Leviathan Crown looks like this. It costs one Dark Fragment, five Electric Wings, and 10 of these new Leviathan scales. So this crown actually gives you 12% more damage on melee attacks, 35% more damage to sea events, 25% increased health regen, 40% higher drop chance of materials from sea events, and one extra to instinct dodge. So I'm not gonna lie, this might actually be the new best accessory, but let's just check out the others real quick. So we got the Leviathan Shield, which costs one mirror fractal, 20 fool's gold, 10 electric wings, and 30 of those new Leviathan scales. And this Leviathan Shield is gonna give you 50% defense against melee sword and gun attacks, 30% defense against sea events, 90% protection against sea damage and 1250 extra health but this is also extremely broken let's go into the final thing which is the boat so the beast hunter is actually a boat and it has a harpoon that can latch onto the leviathan's heart and you can unlock the sanguine arts you're gonna need 20 leviathan scales six electric wings two mutant shark teeth six shark teeth and 30 fool's gold so you're gonna be needing to do a lot of grinding this update but they're definitely worth it because the upgrades are insane but yeah guys that's gonna be it for the video i really hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe i'm gonna be posting a lot more videos since this update just came out. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Peace.